Adding transitions in Mini Tool Movie Maker is really easy, but only once you know how. There are some mistakes which literally people sit there frustrated for hours trying to fix and are unable to. So we're going to show you how to avoid those mistakes and make it easy peasy in this video. So along the top, we've used media before, but if you go along, there's something that's called transition. And basically, there's lots of different transition effects that are implemented into Mini Tool Movie Maker to help you transition between one piece of content and another. So if we hover over any of the transitions, we get a preview of what's going to happen. So that's blind. We can have a look at this one down here quickly. Burn. So that you can see what it will look like before it happens. Butterfly wave scroller. Sounds interesting. Cool. Um, and as you can see there, there is a plus button just like there was with the media to add it. So if we get some media and we press the plus button to add it to our timeline plus button. There we've got two different video clips together. And they just simply go one to the next which isn't an ideal effect that we want you can also have this where if you chop a bit out of a video so for example if there's a bit where you paused a lot in a video or a bit that you want to get rid of you can press the snippy tool to get rid of it and then delete this in the middle but then you've got like a hard break between there which when we press play now can look quite jittery and jarring like it changes that doesn't look too bad but if we want to mask that we can add a transition here now what many people do is they move the scroll head here to the place where they want the transition to go and then go to transitions and let's say we pick bow tie vertical that's something that we're going to notice the plus button here is then pressed but what do we notice keep on pressing the plus button frustrating it's not adding anything we can check that out by pressing play there no no bow ties there so the next thing people try is to drag the transition on and place it on there look the cursor even changes we can see we can't drop it there but the cursor changes and looks like it's allowing allowing us to drop it there and if we do that we've released the mouse now have we got our bow tie transition no and literally people sit here for hours frustrated like that and another one is we go well fine the transition is starting there so we're going to move the playhead to there and we're going to then oh sorry click bow tie vertical click plus and it still doesn't add it before so if you can't add it before or after where can you add it okay it is really tricky but this should be a simple process. If you look on the timeline, any part where you see these arrows going right and left is actually a part where it's telling you that a video is cut from one to another or there's been a bit missing in the middle or you've joined a new video onto the end. And it's these places which are eligible to add a transition. So it is even more curious as to why we can't press the plus there and really frustrating. But there is a really simple solution here. Unfortunately, Movie Maker doesn't give us any error messages to give us a clue. But if you click on the video clip, and I know this is a bit confusing because this throws everybody. The playhead goes right to the beginning of the clip. And people say, well, I don't want it to transition at the beginning. Well, that's not what we're trying to add. Forget the playhead there in blue. It is totally irrelevant. If we click that first clip, the playhead's at zero seconds. We want our transition at the end here. And if we go to bow tie vertical now and press the plus, you will notice that the two arrows here have changed. So even though the playhead was all the way over there, it's jumped here. And if we press play now, we can see that we do have the bow tie vertical transition there. You can equally drag the bow tie vertical um, transition and place it on top of any of those two arrows left and right. So if we press play now, we'll see this one more clearly. The bow tie vertical transition has been added. If you want to remove the transition totally, so for example, if we go back to this one, that, that one's rubbish because you can't even really tell it's happening. It's it's not good at all. We can simply right click on it and delete it. 
and we go back to having the two arrows which shows us it's just sticking that and that together so if we press play now we're back to no transition but we've kept this transition here if you do go to the last clip then what you will notice is selected the last clip here we've said about the two arrows i'm pressing plus now i'm dragging the transition down but no matter what i do it won't add it on there remember you can't add a transition anywhere like to the end of the video because there's nothing to transition to if we go back to media and for example we added the full moon again now on transitions it will let us add a transition there just like normal so if you are dragging on you can just drag it on to the two lines to the two arrows that we've seen but it's really important if you're pressing the plus button select the clip before you want the transition and then you can click the plus button and that will add the transition successfully as we can see there so transitions are really easy if you avoid those common mistakes hope that helps uh, don't forget to like the video and stay tuned for more mini tool movie maker 4 tutorials